The following is a presentation of TFNN. It is now time for Living a Primal Lifestyle with your host, Nico DeHaan. And now, here's Nico DeHaan. Hi, folks. This is Nico DeHaan on Friday, February 24th, 2012, and this is Living a Primal Lifestyle. It's time to talk about your health, your fitness, and diet. My call-in number here is 877-927-6648 if you'd like to join the show. Our international number is 727-445-1044. My new Health Signals newsletter, Issue 4, is out. Please sign up for it. You get it free for 30 days, and you receive two issues each month for only 10 bucks a month. So it's only uh, $10, and you'll receive two issues on the first and third Friday of each and every month. If you'd like to contact me with any questions or comments, uh, my email address is nico at tfnn.com. I hope everybody's doing well in the chat room, streaming live on the Internet, on Tagger TV, and, of course, on the radio. It's partly sunny here and about 75 degrees uh, here in downtown Clearwater, Florida. So today we have a special program. Uh, we have uh, two special guests from the Hot Ninja Defenders. Now, this is a company that teaches anti-rape violence self-defense programs. The Hot Ninja Defenders focus on teaching crucial exercises that develop immediate reaction and swift response skills. Now, their goal is to assist each female to manifest the confidence and ability to respond and commit to attacking back in a violent situations. I have Carolyn Portugal. How are you doing, Carol? Hi, I'm doing Carolyn. good. Uh, she's CEO and self-defense instructor. Uh, Carolyn is an inspiring modern-day conquistadora of fears through knowledge. A swift action, poise, and passionate camaraderie. Skilled in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Judo, Krav Maga, Ma Thai, and Taekwondo. Uh, with notable professional MMA bouts in the cage, she is ranked 18th in the world in the 105 pound division of pro MMA mixed martial arts fighters and a national and international gold medalist athlete in uh, Japanese Jiu Jitsu and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Carolyn is also a fashion artist and professional fitness model. And also with us is Nicole Emery, called Dickie. Hi, Nikki. Hi. And she's CEO of the Awareness and Empowerment Instructor. And Nicole was born in New York City and raised by a family who chose to live an unconventional life, traveling extensively during her childhood. Now, she believes in self-reliance and routinely, routinely soldiers to remote, remote locations. She has spent time learning and living amongst indigenous people. She has experienced conceiving and staging multiple productions involving various theater, performance, arts, and fashion shows. Now, not only is Nicole certified in Homeland Aviation Security Affirmative Action Tactics, she also coordinates large events including freedom festivals in which she has publicly spoken about the freedoms and rights of women. Uh, Nicole is also an awareness and empowerment coach that will help you to bring out your own inner wisdom, strength, and courage. Girls, welcome to the program. This is really, really nice to have you here. Thanks for having us. Now, Carolyn, how did you start with this kind of occupation? Well, um, many years ago, I would say about 15, I was in a downtown Toronto subway platform and I was attacked. Really? Yes. And uh, at that time, you know, I was doing a lot of Taekwondo and, you know, I lived in a very small little town, so I never had to really worry about, you know, my safety or anything. So I kind of felt my guard was down. I mean, right. I was 18, 19 years old. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I'm in a subway platform, and uh, I just came back from like a jazz club. I'm all, you know, dazzled up, and uh, just thinking about, you know, what I have to do the very next day, my examinations are coming up, and um, all of a sudden, I see a hand, and I see a, a, a paper brown bag, and all of a sudden, I'm palm smashing someone. Wow. And I was really scared because 
I just thought I just, you know, went nuts on a homeless person. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, I was just thinking, oh my God, I'm blood guilty and someone's going to sue my family. So, you know, I just, I was scared, you know, because yeah. it happened so fast. And so I run upstairs and I look for a police officer and I tell him, and he's looking at me like, okay, you're nuts. But just letting you know, there's surveillance cameras downstairs, so hopefully we got you know some footage. Mm -hmm. And they did. And that's when I got scared, when they took me to the police station, you know. And uh, I found out that as I'm, like, standing waiting for the subway, that he was behind a pillar. Uh -huh premeditating, you know, to attack me and sure. putting uh, chemicals in a brown bag to suffocate, you know, over my, my nose and my mouth. And he was creeping behind me. And I saw, on, you know, on a black and white, you know, type right. of uh, screen. And it was just so scary. That is creepy. And, I mean, ultimately, I just couldn't believe that a, a six foot two, 200-pound man um, just attacked me. And I just knocked him out. And he knocked himself out as he hit his back of his, you know, back of his head on the concrete. I actually saved his life because he started choking on his own blood hmm. so I took my boot and you know tilted his head over and out came the blood and that's when I ran upstairs but that just made me realize like oh my goodness I need to continue you know studying martial arts I need to get into full contact it just made me realize that I need to continue more so than doing you know some point sparring in Taekwondo yeah. and I wanted to share my experience with other women knowing that a little 90 pound girl you know, was able to defend against a 200, you know, you know, six foot two man. Yeah. And so I decided that, you know, I don't know how many years it was, I was going to dedicate myself to learn Krav Maga, to learn, you know, combative style martial art training that would be conducive for yeah. a small little girl like me, because I kind of felt like, you know, I would never in a million years think that would ever happen. I always think like, ah, you know, I'm a small little girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go to, a, you go up against a big guy. There's no way. He's got testosterone. He's just bigger, stronger. And, you know, that was when I realized that, oh, my God, I have something to share. I am going to dedicate my life to learning self-defense tactics that are conducive yeah. for, you know, the smaller well, know, I can woman. tell you that uh, she is a handful, folks, because uh, she does train <laughs> with me at uh, a Clearwater uh, uh, Gracie Baja, and she is a purple belt in... Uh, no, I'm a blue belt, but are you thanks. A blue belt? Yeah, oh, unless I'm getting okay. it, am I? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, you yeah, act like a purple belt, so I'm sure it's not too far behind. Uh, uh, one of the things I noticed, and I, I have sparred with uh, Caroline, so I, I know that uh, she's definitely a handful. And I think the other day when uh, we sparred, we were sparring for about six or seven minutes. It wasn't until the very end that I, I got a move on you. So uh, and, and she's, uh, she's so darn fast. This old man is, is uh, definitely uh, uh, has a hard time. So. Uh, uh, so, N Nikki, what, what part do you play in this now, and how did you get started? Um, I am the awareness and empowerment instructor, and um, I have to say I started with it myself. I do a lot of traveling uh -huh. um, throughout South America, Central America, Europe, and I'm a small girl, and I like to journey out on my own. Mm -hmm. And in some of these remote locations, I have to be able to handle myself and convey a strong person and not make myself a victim. Right. So I've learned at a very early age to carry myself with what I call uh, a term that I coined a force presence. And it's all how you portray yourself. And if you carry yourself with confidence and you're aware of yourself, your surroundings, your potential attackers likely strategies, you can walk with less fear and make yourself less of a, less of a victim. Yeah. So I try sense. to convey that to women. Uh -huh. And um, by teaching them how to be aware of those situations um, and also awareness of their diet and their awareness of their nutrition and um, awareness of how they live their lifestyle. Yeah. It's, it's all encompassing. But it's, uh, it's, it's, it's very fascinating to actually go in there and talk to different women and, and get them to build their confidence and walk yeah. strong. And confidence is really uh, plays such a big role. I know uh, if you start watching things like the uh, dog whisperer, yeah. You know, one of the things he teaches you is that, you know, you've got to empower yourself and you've got to be the actual leader, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the pack leader, so to speak, in that. And I know when I started martial arts myself that it did give me more of a confidence. You start to walk differently. People perceive you different because the way you hold yourself. Yeah. And that's a, that's a big part of it. Uh, we have the website, uh, and that's rareninja.com. So, uh, Folks, check that out. Uh, uh, you'll find it's a great site to maneuver in, uh, see what these girls are actually doing. Now, besides just one-on-one -on -one training, you do a lot of co co corporate uh, work. Yes, we have many different services. We are going to be doing corporate uh, programs. We're doing um, home parties. We're doing um, 
Teen Ninja uh, parties. Uh, we're also, uh, what other kind of services? A lot of college, uh, yeah, college, college programs, sororities, yeah. college programs. Campuses are one of the um, main targets for rape. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do focus a lot on helping these college girls um, to avoid those situations. Now, what, what are some of the um, places that are most vulnerable for women uh, where they do get attacked? Parking garages. Parking garages. Um, grocery store parking lots. This okay. is where you're in your zone and you're not paying attention to your surroundings. You're walking to your car. You know, you think you know where it is. You look around. You're talking to your cell phone. You've got your bags. You're distracted. So people know that you're distracted. Yeah. They know that you're not aware of what's going on around you. Right. And, you know, it's rare unless you've been taught that you check out your surroundings prior to going into a building. Uh, when you're going into your car, looking at the car beside you, is there somebody in the passenger seat? Why are they there by themselves? You know, is it a big van? Are they going to drag you in? So these are all situations that we teach women to be aware of. But um, parking garages, parking lots, walking down subways, um, strange areas. You know, strange areas that you're not aware of. You know? so, so one of the first things, of course, is that you teach then is uh, how to not be distracted, yes. I would think. Yes. Yeah. And one of the other things that uh, is very common is a lot of violence happens with our previous intimate um, partners. Yeah. That's a really big thing. That's a very I big notice, thing. like, when I have volunteered in the uh, Women Help Center is that most of the women are abused repeatedly they know by people attacker. that they know. Yeah. Really? And, yeah. Wow. And so, you know, and I deal with a lot of, uh, a lot of people that have um, been molested, have mm -hmm. been, you know, by someone that they know, uh, they've been attacked, you know, yeah. by uh, a cousin, an uncle, you know, and so that's something that, you know, we have to address the issue too. Yeah. Uh, we have a call around the line and soon, right after this break, we have Jade coming up, so, uh, or Stephanie, I think, is, uh, is coming up. Oh, we have two. Okay, so, well, I got two calls. This is great. So stick around, folks. We'll be back in a few minutes. Don't forget my Health Signals newsletter. Pick that up today. I'll be right back. In just December of last year, the price of gold was down over 10%. In today's highly volatile gold market, you need someone in your corner that understands the complex relationships that exist within the price of gold, as well as within a variety of gold equities. Whether it's the South African gold miners and knowing how the RAND dollar relationship will affect their bottom line, or understanding how John Paulson's $5 billion trade in the GLD can move the market, Tom O'Brien gives you the direction you need to become a better trader each week in his newsletter the gold report with over 20 individual equities covered and almost another 20 on the potential watch list each week in addition to covering the xau hui gld and dollar the gold report is a great source for any trader that is looking to be diversified in today's volatile gold market for your 30-day free trial to tom o'brien's gold report log on to tfnn.com today don't miss out on this great offer act now You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective and maximize your returns. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The perspective and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor, Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters with Tom O'Brien, seen daily at TFNN.com, author of Mastering Probabilities, a daily investment and trading newsletter, and teacher of the money game. Studies show that three out of five people are afraid for their life in trading these markets, and the number one reason given is fear of loss. Look. 
Fear stands for false evidence appearing real, and the money game proves it. Lesson number one, don't risk more than 1% of your trading capital on any trade. Why, you ask? Because 35 trades in a row where you risk 50 cents and make a dollar are all you need to double your trading capital versus the 230 losing trades in a row you would need to bring your balance to $100. Let me teach you more about the money game risk-free for 30 days. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com and click on my name, Steve Rhodes, for your 30-day risk-free trial. You were born to be a money master, and I'll teach you how. X-Story Gold Mines, an NYSE Amex-listed company trading under the symbol XG, is slated to be the newest gold-silver producer in Argentina. X-Story is forecast to produce more than 250 million in bullion annually, beginning in 2013, at a cash cost of less than $200 for each ounce of gold produced. That forecast will make X-Story one of the highest margin operators in South America and a sector leader in the mining industry. X-Story has 50 million in its treasury, having spent over 60 million to date on drilling and engineering. The ultimate size of its Argentina discovery could be determined by year end as results from the six drills operating at the site are fully assessed. To find out more about X-Story Gold Mines and their exciting growth potential, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE Amex under the symbol XG. This segment is brought to you by Great Panther Silver. For more information, just click the Great Panther Silver banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back to the show, folks. This is Nico on Living a Primal Lifestyle, and my number here is 877-927-6648. I'd like to remind you to pick up my Health Signals newsletter, uh, and it's only $10 a month. You uh, get two issues each month, great value for what you're paying. And if you have any questions or comments, you can uh, email me at nico at tfnn.com. Now we have uh, Jade on the line. Hi, Jade. How are you today? Hi, I'm doing good. How are you? Oh, doing great. You're here on the air with Nikki and Caroline. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Caroline. Hey. Hi, Jade. <laughs> so what can I do for you today? Well, I just wanted to call in because I have taken some of Nikki and Caroline's classes before in the past. And I am a massage therapist at Heat Yoga and Fitness where they came and taught us our self-defense class. And being a massage therapist, you know, there's sometimes, you know, a situation where you have a new client come in and they kind of creep you out a little bit. You know, I'm a female, so yeah. you always have those those times where you don't know what what a client's intentions might be or what they expect from you. And Having Nikki and Caroline come in and, you know, teach us self-defense and empowerment, it just, it really helps me feel more confident and more, you know, safe. And I feel like if I did get in a situation where, you know, fortunately it's never happened before, but if somebody tried to attack me when I was in the room with them, you know, I would feel confident that I could defend myself. That's great. Now, did you... And so it's a, it's yeah. a big relief. Yeah. Now, did you... What changes did you find in your self-awareness that uh, really impacted you from these classes? Well, you know, they, they taught me, you know, to always be aware, to walk confidently, and just be aware of your surroundings. And so I'm, I definitely, I pay a lot more attention now that, that I've taken the class to what's going on around me and... Like I said, I just I feel a lot more confident. I walk with confidence, and I feel like if I ever got in one of those sticky situations, I could try to find my way out of it. Fantastic. Awesome. Thanks, Jade. <laughs> well, thanks so much for calling. I really appreciate it. Yeah, guys, keep doing what you're doing. You're awesome. Thank you. Love you, Jade. <laughs> <laughs> now, also uh, on the other line, I think we have uh, Stephanie, who uh, is also on the line uh, for Caroline and uh, for Nikki. Are you there, Stephanie? Yeah, I'm here. How are you? I'm doing great. <laughs> Hi, ladies. Hi, Hi there. Steph. Well, I wanted to call in, same as Jade. I'm actually the owner of Heat Yoga and Fitness, and we've hosted a couple seminars here with um, HND. And uh, Nikki, Caroline, and Jason have come in and taught not only just my members there, uh, but also we've opened it up to the community and brought in people that are friends with my members, their family, their aunts, their cousins, sisters, mothers, and we've had a great turnout, and I've gotten nothing but great feedback. And I, too, 
feel more confident and I'm definitely more aware um, after taking a couple of classes with them. And Fantastic. I love what they do. I love their message. Oh, that's Thank great. you. Well, uh, how long uh, have you known uh, Nikki and uh, Caroline? Actually, um, my story is a little bit different. I met them first as my students. Oh. Um, they came in to take yoga, and um, obviously we hit it off right away. And then after hearing their stories and knowing their backgrounds and realizing what this company came from, not only um, you know great ideas from amazing women, but uh, life experience too. You know, when you take these self defense classes, you never really know if these lessons have been applied by the instructors. And you know, obviously, Caroline's an MMA fighter, and Nikki is a survivor, and it, their experiences have led them to this company and have led them to this growth of knowledge. And it's just been an amazing, amazing experience for me, um, just knowing that not only am I learning from very educated people, but people who have also had to test it out themselves and have saved themselves from situations, and that's just very humbling. That's very cool. So the, the word has really spread then through uh, your little community. Almost oh, definitely. People are waiting for them to come back. <laughs> they get multiple, awesome. multiple compliments on different parts of their program from the nice tactics with April to the actual self-defense with Caroline and uh, to uh, Nikki's empowerment exercises because one of the big things I gained out of the empowerment exercises was I never really thought to make eye contact with somebody who's making me uncomfortable. I was always one to shun away, uh -huh. um, to turn my attention down and just kind of get away as quick as I could. And after taking Nikki's class, she teaches you to stare back, let them know that you're aware of their, of them and where they are and that you feel the threat and to stare them back, make wow. sure that they know that you're recognizing them. And I never really thought of anything like that. So that was a tactic that I definitely use now that I would never have implemented before. Wow. So I'm well, grateful for that. Stephanie, thank you so much for calling. Uh, it really um, yeah. made a big difference. Thank you so much. No, thank thank you. Hi, Steph. Keep doing what you guys do. you great. Thank you. Thanks, you I too. love hearing things like that. It's very inspiring. That is great. <laughs> Folks, I want to remind you to get, pick up my Health Signals newsletter. And also, uh, you know, these shows are archived on TFNN.com uh, website and also as a podcast on iTunes. So check that out for me. Uh, the number here is 877-927-6648. And we'll be back in a few more minutes. Brian. If you want to get great trade setups and equity as well as the option market, come over to TFNN.com and test drive my daily newsletter, Market Insights, for two weeks absolutely free. Each trade setup comes with a profit projection as well as stock placement. Included in Market Insights is a Twitter alert service. This allows you to take advantage of intraday setups. Volatility is back in the markets. What does that mean to you? To me, it spells short-term opportunity each and every day. The days of trending up on light of volume are gone. We have come off the highs with volume across the globe. Don't get caught in a complacency trap. Many of the indices have given back two months of trading in one week. We have a trader's market. You can take advantage of this trader's market by test driving my daily newsletter, Market Insights, free for two weeks. Market Insights will give you the edge you're looking for in the markets. Go to TFNN.com under newsletter. Hit the Market Insight tab for your two-week free test drive right here, right now. In the world of financial markets, there's a new player in town with an exciting new way to trade the markets. Nadex now offers binary options as well as bull spreads in a wide range of indices along with commodity and forex markets. With as little as $100, you can gain access to a new way to trade global financial markets while guaranteeing that your risk will always be capped. Nadex allows you to multiply your trading opportunities in ways never imagined before and access markets you once thought were out of reach. With short-term trading opportunities available, including binary options expiring each hour the market is open, Nadex allows you to take advantage of a variety of market conditions regardless of volatility or market direction. Now is the time to take advantage of this exciting new market. Don't let this trading opportunity pass you by. Open your account today by clicking on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Nadex, a better way to trade. Put the power of the Chapman Wave methodology to work for you. No matter what market you trade, what time frame you trade in, or your trading style, the opening call, Basil Chapman's daily market newsletter, is bursting with the information and trades you need to become a more successful trader. 
I've been using Basil Chapman's Chapman Wave methodology for several years now. His Chapman Wave can be used for any time period for not only equities, but futures, currencies, commodities. I've been also a subscriber of his opening call, which I find an invaluable tool to help me analyze the potential of the market each day. He gives you opportunities to go short and long. It includes recommendations on stocks. I strongly recommend people using the Chapman Wave and very, very strongly support the use of this opening call. To find out more about Basil Chapman and his Chapman Wave methodology, and to get your two-week free trial of the opening call, a $64 value, visit TFNN.com today. What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley Smith Barney believes that a carefully selected portfolio can lower volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation location and the Morgan Stanley Smith Barney financial advisor can do for you. Call Angela O'Brien, first vice president and certified financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, LLC. Member SIPC. This segment is brought to you by Crocodile Gold. For more information, just click the Crocodile Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back to the show, folks. Hey, it's Nico on Living a Primal Lifestyle, and we're doing that right now. The number here is 877-927-6648. Please check out my Health Signals newsletter. I've got an issue out there and a brand new one coming uh, next week. So uh, you'll get a new issue on the first and third Friday of each month, and it's only $10 a month. Try it free for 30 days, and then you're good to go. Uh, I have two guests with me, Caroline and N Nicole, and they're from the Rare Ninja Defenders. And uh, they're Hot Ninja Defenders. Pardon me? Hot Ninja Defenders. Hot Ninja Defenders. Yeah. That's right. You're Rare Ninja. Yes, I'm Rare Ninja. <laughs> How could I forget? But, you know, one of the things about this is that what I want to know is what makes you different? What 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 does your corporation do, and what you do you girls do different than say uh, uh, other people who are uh, in the same genre as you are? Well, uh, I know there's a lot of different types of martial arts and, and other different types of uh, self-defense programs out there. And um, what we're doing is something really unique. We're promoting an ideal lifestyle for teens and women to help them accomplish um, empowerment and confidence by incorporating fitness, positive body image, and nutrition. And we believe that teaching physical self-defense alone is not enough. Proper nutrition promotes mental relaxation and alertness. Attaining emotional balance and positive mood because of an ideal diet will let, me, let women allow them to make better decisions and make better choices, which is the first step of ideal self-defense. So where do you begin then uh, in your program? Well, we have Nikki here who is going to be incorporating the uh, nutrition part in the empowerment classes. And of course, we do have licensed uh, practitioners and doctors if people would like to continue to go on a very specific diet that we would actually guide them to. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing, we're kind of stimulating the idea like, you know what, you need to like clean up your diet, you need to kind of like see if if what you're eating is actually, you know, really good quality whole foods mm -hmm. and, and, you know, and test them, you know, make them, make them think, you know, the, the kind of uh, discussions we're going to have. I want the, I want to spark an interest that, sure. and let them know that, hmm, maybe what I'm eating is not so good. Maybe eating processed food is not so good for, for my brain function. And uh, we believe that's, it's a really important aspect in, in our female empowerment program is that it's almost like the very first thing is like when you start telling women that you need to take better, good care, uh, better uh, care of themselves, they're going to like have more confidence naturally sure. I mean we could teach you know all this self-defense but what's the point if they if they're not even happy with themselves if it doesn't become a part of their lifestyle yeah and a lot of people are very busy in their daily lives they yeah. they cannot dedicate their entire life to one thing they've got children they have the careers they have so much on their plate they don't know where to start mm -hmm. and 
in teaching awareness, I tell them to be aware of what you're putting in your body. When you're shopping, read. Don't be afraid to read. Know what you're doing. Be aware of the food that you're consuming. Live a holistic, non-chemical lifestyle. From the chemicals you clean your home with mm -hmm. to what you put into your body, um, the, less in, uh, the less chemicals and carcinogens you put in your body and in your atmosphere that you can control, the better survival rate you're going to have. Um, there are a lot of environmental toxins around us every day. Yeah. And there's nothing we can do about that. Mm -hmm. But we can be aware of what we do to our own personal bodies and to our family. And it doesn't take that much energy. Yeah. It doesn't take that much effort. It really doesn't. It takes just a little bit of diligence mm -hmm. and a little bit of awareness. And if they're not afraid to read, then, you know, read the ingredients. Honey, if you can't pronounce it, most likely you shouldn't be eating it. Yeah. So avoid those processed foods and your mental clarity uh, just your mind just opens up. Well, it really does start you know? with that, and uh, you know that's what I talk about on the show too. And part of the whole uh, living a primal lifestyle too for me is getting people to start investigating on their own because you really have to convince yourself yeah. because if you don't do that if you just take somebody's word for it then the investigation stops and you're liable to go back to what's comfortable. I had a woman tell me she goes well the FDA approved Really? Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, the FDA approves hamburger helper, but I don't recommend putting yeah, it in no your doubt body. About it. Yeah. So, yeah. In yeah. fact, if they approve it, you probably better stay away from it. <laughs> <You better laughs> stay away from it. <laughs> yeah, if it and sense. this is what I, I tell my son, you know, when he's asking me for treats, and I'm like, where did that come from? And he goes, well, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. You know, something in a wrapper, some kind of candy bar. I go, well, where did that come from? He's like, well, I don't know. He's five. I don't know. I go, well, if you don't understand where that comes from, should you be eating that? You know, is that, does that come from an animal? Does that come from a plant? Mm -hmm. um, is it a fruit? If it's not one of those things and you don't know where it comes from, then maybe you need to evaluate whether or not it should be put in your body. Yeah. Well, one of the biggest problems we have in society today with food is that people aren't satisfied with the food, so they eat more. Yeah. And uh, I know that when you're satisfied with what you eat, you eat a lot less. And uh, that uh, is part of what I try to teach my audience is that fat is really good, as long as it's good fat. Right. And fat is what makes you satisfied. Mm -hmm. Sugar mm -hmm. makes you satisfied for a short time and you want more. Right. Fat, you take a little bit of that in and you're satisfied and then you don't need more. Yeah. And your body realizes that. Starving your body of nutrition yeah. when you think that your body's yeah. full. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're really talking about uh, building that self-esteem for the people. We're also talking about uh, getting on the right nutrition path, yes. which is what I always talk about. And what are some of the other things that we talk well, about? Well, another though? thing that makes us really unique is, is that I understand that uh, many different uh, martial arts, it takes a long time to master some of these Boy, spinning back that. kicks and mm. these wrist locks, even like some of the, the jiu-jitsu that we learn. I mean, we're humbled by the challenge of like how detailed some of these moves that we sometimes don't even do them when we actually fight. Right. And and we study every day, sometimes twice a day, you know, yeah. when we're in fight camp. You do. Yes. <laughs> the old guy sometimes, here. Sometimes. <laughs> Three times so a week. knowing that we're not working with skilled martial artists, and athletes. We're working with women who, you know, have kids and they're behind a computer all the time. So I've decided that I would create a very easy program where we don't teach anything fancy, no bare knuckle punches like they other like they do in other, you know, sites, no arm bars. We teach four <laughs> strikes, okay? Four strikes. Yeah. Palm smash, an elbow strike, knee smash, and a hammer fist. And what I'd like to focus mainly on is building the confidence just to react. To use it. And there's no wrong or right move. Like, I could be, you know, like, no, you're doing it wrong, you're, you know. I don't want to do that. I want them to just do something. And um, we find great success selecting exercises that stimulate realistic scenes. So doing constant repetitive drills to promote quicker, responsive skills teaches a woman and teen not to panic. Yeah. So that's the thing, you know, like a lot of these women, um, they actually die from the double hand choke. Mm -hmm. You know, how silly is that? We got these four limbs and the woman don't know what to do. It's because within those few seconds, you know, when they should have done something, that, that's it. It's over. Yeah. And they could have done something. Right. Right. 
And and that's just what it is. It's teaching women to react when they are being attacked. To that's, react and yeah. not panic. Yeah, there's a window of opportunity there, and I, I know that for myself in jiu-jitsu. Uh, I know it still happens to me. I see what I should have done two seconds later, and then it's too late. Right. So you really need that window of opportunity. So that's, uh, I think, a very important thing. Uh, so you have four strikes that you use. That's one of them. I mean, we, we do other things, too, but that's mostly, like, I call them the mm -hmm. four deadly strikes. Yeah. And that's one of them. I mean, yeah, we, you know, I have, like, you know, how to get out of a double hand choke, you know, how, what to do from a back attack, a front attack. Very simple stuff. Okay, um, and we just go through the drills over and over and over again in different angles, um, creating like uh, scenarios, mm -hmm. and that's just what it is. And women get really nervous when you start creating these, these simulation exercises. They because, do they because do. they start yeah. thinking yeah. like, "Oh my God, this what could if this really happens happen? to me?" And yeah, yeah, yeah they so that's what it is. It takes a sense just to punch something too. I noticed when I uh, first took karate that to hit a bag even is foreign and hitting a person is completely foreign yes. it was to me right. so it took me a long time to get the feeling for what I was doing just in those strikes. One thing I want to I want to go back a little bit. Um, sure. You're saying you're missed opportunity, and you have a window of opportunity to react. Yes. And one thing that I really focus on, and I can't say it enough, you don't stop fighting. You don't stop fighting. If you miss that window of opportunity, you don't think, oh God, I didn't, I didn't palm smash or I didn't elbow strike. Crud, what do I do now? Mm -hmm. You just don't stop. Right. You fight, you fight for your life. You do whatever you have to do to escape. Yeah. And you continue to keep your mind clear. You continue to breathe and you continue to fight. Yeah. Because um, you are less likely to really be a victim of a violent rape or murder if you just don't stop fighting. Yeah, you have usually to. those people aren't probably in great shape either. So if you are in great shape, then they get tired before you do. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. That's, yeah. A, yeah. I think that's, yeah. that's definitely one of my tactics. <laughs> uh, no like, doubt. Okay, yeah. like, okay, I'm going to be more shaped, so I'll just tire them out and then I'll go for the kill. <laughs> Same with me. <laughs> but there, yeah. there are a lot of average women that are taking our classes that are, they're not training like Caroline. I can't train like right. Caroline. You know, so she's going to be more in shape than I am. Yeah. Now, I am in good shape, but I'm not going to be at my peak performance like she is. Yes. So I have to have um, the little bit of knowledge that I have to uh, to fight the way she has taught me to fight, to fight for my life, and I keep it in my mind that I will not give up, I will not surrender, and I will fight for my life because it is my right to fight for my life. That's and beautiful. every woman every person out there needs to feel that way it is your right to fight for your life yeah and you know our third instructor april smith who I does, sure do. well, she does set tactical yes yeah, so uh, well she's our knife and gun tactics girl uh -huh. and she's, she's awesome. great she's really awesome she's really great <laughs> she at really uh, is. teaching um you know how to disarm a knife and gun but she really does um emphasize compliance which is great because to be honest with you, if both of us have a knife, okay, mm -hmm. we're just going to kill each other. Right. You know what I mean? So she really teaches, like, just get out of the situation. If someone has a knife, run. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Get away. Well, Bye. See you that's later. That's one of the things I to mention because Escape. some of the programs I've seen is they teach you one strike and run. Yeah. So that's an important part of it, too. Yeah. I mean, obviously, if someone is to pull out a knife in an elevator where you just don't have a place to go, then yeah. Then we do teach, you know, the worst case scenarios where you can't get away. Right. And, and April does do a really excellent job teaching that. Cool. Uh, we've taught on, uh, we talked about nutrition. We've talked about uh, where, what strikes, uh, where do you strike a person that's attacking you? That's one of the things. Oh, well, first of all, got here a little cougar time that I, uh, oh, yes. over here, I don't know if you can't see it on the radio, but no, but you can see it, can it on, see it on, on TV. <laughs> so anyway, um, anyway, there, this is a legal weapon that the, you could put on your, your keychain. I can carry that with me yes. at the airport because I'm, I'm a flight attendant and okay. I can actually carry that with me on an airplane. And oh, you can cool. get a wooden uh, coubaton as well. Okay. So and a coubaton is just basically a stick yes. with a couple of prongs it on it. It could be, yeah. yeah, mostly a flat surface. Flat surface. Yeah, I mean, each state is very different. Mm -hmm. But um, it doesn't necessarily have a prong, right? No. no I've yeah. seen just the short Yeah, because yeah, I have the one sticks. that's just like right. that. Right. Yeah. And just and those um, are great yeah, imagine doing, you know, a hammer fist movement, okay, on someone's neck. On eye with this. 
I mean, it's, it's ready to go, unlike a gun or a pepper right. spray where you have to kind of take it I'm out sure. and, or take do the safety, safety off. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I have one of those in my Oh, do you? Car. Awesome. Yeah. I was going to give you one. I love it. I feel so good yeah. when I walk with it. I, I, you know, I have this in my hand. Oh. Just, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> Twice as deadly. Twice as deadly. <laughs> so it, I do. I feel, I feel good when I have it. I feel right. like my, my fist is stronger. Right. It's sure. like, you know. Well, going back to when I was attacked, I palm smashed my attacker's bridge of his nose into his skull. Huh. He actually almost died. Sure. I mean, it was just one just, nice, you know, clean thing. hit, right. okay? And I actually thought of, like, exactly what my instructor told me um, very many years ago, uh, overhand volleyball serve, okay? Oh. So that's what I teach the woman. It's like, I want you to palm smash as if you're taking volleyball and you're doing an overhand palm smash. Oh, like a volleyball. I can see that happening. So mm -hmm. just imagining. And, you know, most men, you know, would never see that coming. No. And so, obviously, somewhere in the face, um, you know. They're, they're protecting their groin most of the time. Yeah. If, uh, yeah. Anywhere in this area in the chin, you know, like in boxing, the knockouts usually happen, you on, know, in yeah, the, the, the jawline, on, yeah. jaw on the neck, throat punching. You know, a lot of stuff that we're not allowed to do in the, in the cage, so get the t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> the aggressiveness is coming out. I can see it now. It's great. I'll tell you what, though. You get those pads out there, and those girls who are just sitting there, and they're really quiet, and they're, like, watching us, and they're listening, and they look really shy, and you get those pads out there and tell them to, you know, strike with yeah. their elbow, strike and pop. Their viciousness just comes out. And, you and know what really surprises me? Surprise me is the older woman. I mean, yes. teenagers are just like, eh, hey, whatever. Yeah. You know, I've don't never been it. attacked. I don't. You know, they don't really understand the reality. Yeah. Where the older women, they know, and you they know, how many the psychos emotions. are out there, mm -hmm. and they understand the, the the type of people are out there that could hurt them. So when you get like a fifty six year old woman, they are so strong, yeah. and they know what they're doing. You know, when I tell them, they go for it, and and they're just a little bit more accurate, you know, with their technique than, yeah. than the teens. Yeah. And I'm really impressed, you know. And I think what it is because they understand the reality more than yeah. the younger crowd. I know. I was, uh, when I first came to uh, Gracie Baja and I sparred with uh, April, I think I was still, just became a blue belt. And uh, she is so strong and so fast. And then she kept saying, you know, I want you to be more aggressive. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I weigh twice as much as she does, and she says, I want you to be more aggressive. I want this to be real. And that really uh, showed me, you know, how dedicated she was to what she was doing. She had me do a, um, oh, I'm sorry, we're... No, that's okay. She had me do one time where I had to do three minutes of people attacking me on all ends, and I had to constantly fight, and I tell you what... That's not easy. No. That That's a hard, it's realistic, and I just wanted to go to bed after. <laughs> I was like, ooh, it takes a well, lot of time. we're not going to bed yet. We're just going to uh, be back in about a uh, few minutes, and uh, stick around, folks. We've got one more segment coming up. TFNN has an exciting announcement. As part of our Go Long America contest, Tom O'Brien and Steve Rhodes will be hosting four live in-person workshops that are absolutely free to attend. Denver on February 21st, Spokane on February 22nd, San Francisco on February 23rd, all from 6.30 till 9.30 in the evening, followed up by Boston on Saturday morning, March 3rd. Steve Rhodes will show you how to understand the power of 1% and how to master probability, along with avoiding getting stopped out of trades early, while Tom O'Brien will speak about the intense trading power of Tiger Gartley and Butterfly Patterns. All of these workshops are completely free to attend. Come see Tom O'Brien and Steve Rhodes live at one of these free workshops as part of the Go Long America Tour. For more information and to reserve your seat today, visit the front page of TFNN.com and click on the Go Long America Tour banner. TFNN is proud to bring you the cutting edge of investment newsletters. Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be at the market and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakout gains. Go to TFNN.com today, click Investment Newsletters, and get Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks. Would you like to discover the next great tech stock? 
David White, TFNN's technology guru, has just launched his new newsletter, The Technology Insider. In his newsletter, David will be looking for those shining stars that may turn into the next Apple, Microsoft, or Cisco. David combines his technology background as a software programmer with his market skills as a successful professional trader to give you this unique newsletter. We're on the verge of the next great tech run. With the Technology Insider, you'll be in front of the run-up and not lagging behind. David is developing a long-term investment portfolio. Therefore, we're only offering the Technology Insider as an annual subscription with a remarkable price of only $395. That's right. For a little over $1 a day, you'll receive the fundamental technology wisdom and technical trading skills of the Technology Insider, David White. What are you waiting for? Go to the front of TFNN.com, click on the link on the front page, sign up for your two-week free trial, and become a Technology Insider today. Here's what people are saying about Tiger TV. Let's go to John in Tampa. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? A wonderful day. I love your Tiger TV. I watch it every day. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh, man, I appreciate you out there watching it. How long have you been watching the Tiger TV? I've watched almost a month now, and it's just it's wonderful. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yes, it's cool. You see the charts and everything. Thanks so much for the hard work. Tiger TV, a great news service from TFNN.com. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back to the show, folks. It's Nico on TFNN. And uh, we're here with uh, Caroline and Nicole from Hot Ninja Defenders. And we've been talking about self-defense <laughs> and how to take care of yourself. Now, girls, how uh, do other people to react, you know, react so how you're doing, and uh, you know, not just the general audience, but you know, the people that surround you in your life, your your family, and how do you relate to different populations? Well, I was mentioning before when I was attacked um, before um, that I had a hard time for a very long time talking about it with my family because I didn't want my family to think that I failed. You know, their daughter went to the big city uh -huh. and they and she got attacked. So I had a hard time because I wanted I didn't really want them to know. And so I kind of used that experience to kind of help me, you know, uh, develop a way of how to get other people that have been in, you know, uh, an attack or in a sticky situation um, that was um, very uncomfortable to kind of like talk about it, express it. And so I've used that experience, you know, that I've had previously to kind of like help others, you know, um, in my private self-defense classes mm -hmm. or my group classes to kind of say, you know, don't be afraid of something because, you know, by talking about it to kind of, it does really help therapeutically to, yeah. uh, to get other people to share your experience. It helps. It makes me feel like I help myself by helping other people. Well, you relate, you have to have some empathy. Yeah. And well, what I was going to say, ask too, was now you have a, a client and tell maybe that you teach teenagers and you teach, teach people all the way up to probably my age. You know, we teach such a variety of people that yeah. we have to be able to relate to each genre of person. Yes. And just because of the way that I live my life, I communicate with all walks of life. Mm -hmm. And um, I try to speak on terms that they understand. I don't speak above somebody, mm -hmm. uh, nor do I speak below them. I, I speak in terms that they understand, and I relate to them, and I'm very empathetic. And in being empathetic, you can convey that sincerity that sure. you feel towards their situation. And once they know that you honestly feel for them, uh, they open right up, and they're receptive to what you're saying. So I can speak to a teenager. Uh -huh. I can... Um, 
you know, I can make my language into something they understand, and I can be playful, and I make it something that they can relate to, and they enjoy being around me, and then they understand the severity of it because I can put it in terms that they relate to. As far as a, a corporate woman, I travel a lot for a living, sure. and I know that their needs, I know the requirements, I know what they're going through, and I can talk to them on that level. So, and the housewife, I'm a mom, I'm at home, I'm with my child, I can, I feel that through my lifestyle and situation, I can speak and relate to different genres of women. And I think in doing that, it helps them to um, open themselves up, like I said, sure. and be receptive to the information. It's a lot of information to receive. Yeah. You know, yeah. we try to put it in very simplistic terms so that they really grasp it and understand it. Like Car Caroline said, it's simple moves, simple terms, repetitive action. Yeah. Now, how long are these courses that you give? Are they different? Uh... Well, we can customize anything, you know, because, you know, everyone you know, can afford a certain price. But, uh, I mean... Or time. Uh, Some, not everybody has yeah, the time. Like our corporate yeah. seminars, they, you know, for like a like a half day, we um, started at like, you know, um, I think it's like a 150 for a half day, and then for a full day, it's like 275. We, we, we adjust times and prices according to the person's situation, um, time that we're giving. It, of course, the the least amount of time you're taking, the sure. least amount of information you're receiving. No doubt about it. Um, well, we another thing I, I like about what you're doing too is all these different people that you have in your organization. You have a child care provider, you have an administrative associate uh, that uh, works as a business owner that is also a fitness instructor. You've got somebody that's a sponsorship uh, director that works with uh, different kinds of gyms and things like that. And of course, you have April, who's the tactical gun and knife instructor, and you two girls. So I mean. Power Powerful, strong women. Exactly. That's, that's, and that's, that's what it's key. all about. Well, thank you so much, girls. This has <laughs> Thanks been, for having us. I wish we had two hours. And uh, I'm sure uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk again. Hours? It felt like five minutes. Right? Yeah, it did. It really goes fast. <laughs> Thanks a lot, folks. Uh, we'll talk to you next week. And this is Nico on Living a Primal Lifestyle. Have a great weekend. Thank you.